So in the past, I used Jupyter Notebooks for EDA, but this was not very convenient. When I communicated with subject matter experts, I would often save a notebook as an HTML file, share it over the email. This was not very efficient. We communicated over emails, over Slack. Often we needed meetings to discuss. Fortunately, now we can do this more efficiently with weights and biases. We want to document our data exploration and we want to share it with our team. So let's add the table to a report. Let's create a new report. We'll give it a new title. And let's take a look at the distribution of attributes in this data set. All of the images are in the same data set, so maybe we can group it by the data set column. We can now see the histograms and the distribution of our attributes and labels here. We can see that P1 and P2 are imbalanced, so we should take a closer look at it. Most of the classes are represented in each image. One exception is bicycle. There are very few bicycle images, so we need to put some special attention to it. Let's note down our findings in the report. A table is represented as a with expression in the report, so we can copy this expression. Now we will create a new with panel and paste that expression here. This will essentially duplicate this table. We are interested in the P1 attribute, so let's now group by this attribute. We can maybe sort this table now and make it a bit bigger. Let's look at the images. Maybe we can change the settings of this column. Maybe let's, um, let's look at five images at a time. And maybe let's remove the mask for now. And now what we can see is when we grouped by this P1 attribute, similar images appear in each group. It looks like they were taken from the same car, maybe on the same day. And this can mean that these images come from the same video. they are potentially different frames from the same video. And this will be important in the future when we split our data across training, validation, and test sets. So let's no note down this finding. Let's also look now at one of the rare classes. We'll duplicate the table again. And let's, let's group it by bicycle now. We know there are very few bicycle images in this table. In fact, we can see there are 59 in our data set. Let's again change the settings. And now we're specifically interested in the bicycle class. So let's just look at these annotations. It looks like the bicycle annotations are very small and potentially noisy. So it may be hard for our models to learn this class. Let's note down our findings again. After completing our analysis, we can save our report and share it with our team members. 
See you in the next video.